Thank you, Charles Oakley. 731, right. 29 Yay. minutes in front of 8 o'clock. It's the morning show on your HOT 97. It's going to be kind of nice today, sunny, a little windy, though. High 54, 43 degrees right now. And keep listening to us for your chance to win free passes to see Universal Pictures' advanced screening of Liar, Liar opening in theaters on Friday, March 21st. Also, this portion is brought to you by Delta Express. Fly Delta Express to Florida. For low fares, call 1-800-325-5205. And we're joined in the studio this morning on Hot 97 by Stanley Green, the president of The Box, music television you control. Good morning. Good morning. How, How you doing? doing, man? Good, good. How are you? Where is The Box in New York? Well, we're at... Uh, and what channels can we get it on? Right. Uh, well, in terms of the office, I'm um, right in uh, Manhattan. I'm based out of Manhattan. Our worldwide company is in Miami. Uh -huh. uh, but at present, uh, we have a, uh, a little problem because we were taken off of the uh, Time Warner system last year. So, you know, what we're trying to do is, you know, get Why everybody was mobilized. Well, you know, there were various reasons. And uh, I was on the board at the time with board of directors when mm -hmm. I heard about it. And, uh, of course, people on the board were really upset. And we had various reasons. One was, you know, Time Warner just wanted to put another channel on. It may have been the History Channel or, or something else. And another was that uh, they had some problems with uh, some of the videos that uh, were being played. Uh, so but there were a number of reasons. But the bottom line is we're not on today. But the positive thing is we just had a meeting with Time Warner a couple of weeks ago with the president of the uh, the cable system. And so there may be an opportunity to get back on sometime this year. So that's where we're really focused right now. Do you feel like that could be when you said that they had a problem with some of the videos that were being played on the box, some kind of a new form of censorship that's coming through and we don't like it then, and we don't watch it and we don't enjoy it, then the hell with it, take it off our cable system. But then they can put the History Channel on and the History Channel is not always correct in the kind of history that they bring up across the people. It's not always accurate. Yeah, and I don't know if I can really uh, speak to that issue. I mean, I, I guess I just know what, what uh, some of the comments that I heard, and uh, it's behind us now. The focus is at this point on how do we get back on, how do we get people to mobilize, to reply to research that, that asks for the mm -hmm. channels that uh, they want to see. Because what happens is uh, many surveys are sent out, and system, uh, cable systems don't get enough feedback from the people that, that watch the box. I mean, you know that they're out there, and you know how that works, but right. many times the, the people that send in the reply are the people that pay the bills or the parents, and they may not you know, necessarily put the box on the top of the list. Like, so, like a perfect example is the box was in different areas. Like in Queens, it was on a different channel than it was in Manhattan, right. than it was in Jersey. That's right. And like in Long Island, it wasn't even out. It wasn't even Long Island. You have to go to but you know what? Uh, uh, yeah, a lot of the other cable shows was on like that, too, because I know for yeah. a fact MTV is different and yeah, Long Island than it is in, in, in Manhattan, in Jersey. How, does, how, can the box, how can the box, you know, stretch out? Because a lot of people from Long Island, Nassau, and Suffolk particularly, wanted to get the box. Yeah. Just what do you need people to there. do? What we need people to do is is to make sure that they're aware that cable companies do research, and they may want to call the cable company and say, well, you know, when are you, you know, doing research? Or just call them and tell them that, uh, you know, they want the box. I was a cable operator. I used to run a cable, uh, two different cable systems. And when people wrote letters to me and they called me, that made that particular programming network top of mind so that when I got into the meetings with my engineers that they may tell me that they have a new channel available, what do I want to put on? I'm thinking about the uh, the channel that most of the people uh, sensitized me to. These are the people that called in, these are the people that wrote letters, and I said, okay, well, at that time, a few years back, sci-fi was big, Cartoon right. Network was big, right. and so I said, look, we got to find room for it because people want it. So. Cable companies will respond to, to the people. They'll put History Channel on because when they do the survey, when it com comes back, History Channel may be ranked number one. The bottom line is we have an opportunity. The listeners of Hot 97, however, have an opportunity to send postcards or send notes into the cable operator and, and tell them that they want uh, the box. Now, one of the things that we're doing in other markets that we want to do in New York is, is to break new acts. I mean, there's a lot of talent out there. We all know it. Uh, people have a hard time, you know, getting some exposure. One of the new things that we're doing this year is we're giving people an opportunity to send in their videos mm -hmm. and we put them on the box and give people an opportunity to, to, to watch them. You right. Know, we don't program it. The people program the box. So, uh, you know, this idea of helping new acts is something that we really are focusing on in other markets. And as soon as we get back on in New York, we want to make it happen for New York. Now, okay. Can you explain to us just briefly, real quick, how does that work where the viewer programs the videos they want to see? Well, what happens is, you know, there's a menu. It's, it's sort of like the old jukeboxes in, uh, in the restaurants where, you know, you have a menu of uh, 
of songs or videos that you want to choose and a selection number three digit code associated with that particular video and all you have to do is call this 900 number uh, it'll prompt you and ask you what video you want to watch you put in a three digit code and your video comes up usually within 15 minutes or so so now and, and it comes up on everybody's tv screen not just yours not just like it's not like pay-per-view in that way and with pay-per-view you order something that just comes up on your on your set with the box you order something and you ordered it for everybody else too so you are actually programming the network right okay we're talking to stanley green president of the box i want to come back and, and talk to you about something that uh we've been hearing about as far as that we program the music that we want to hear about. What are y'all going to do now to stop the record companies from making people pick up that phone and go, order this video, order this video, order this video, right. and the video plays over and over and over again. Right. And then the people that are actually really wanting to see right. something else can't even get their video played because the record companies are flooding the box with calls. So we'll be back with more of that. This is Stanley Green, president of The Box, joining us on The Morning Show on your HOT 97. One, 19 minutes before 8 o'clock and say good morning to Deshaun, who's the receptionist here at Hot 97 and who happens to be on Nutra RX only at Nutra System. Good morning, Deshaun. Good morning, Lisa. How you doing? Hey, Deshaun, we have to get you on their new TV spot I saw last night. Uh, which you, know, one? you know, everyone that's lost weight, they get on TV and go, hi, I lost 20 pounds. Oh, yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> now, you've been on uh, Nutra System for two weeks and you've already lost, what, almost seven pounds, right? Yes. And you get weighed in again on Thursday. Yes. Okay, one 800 321 then NutriRx only at Nutra System right here at Hot 97. Oh, the of Hip Hop King. Hot 97, where hip hop lives, you know what I'm saying? Of the times. Uh -uh. It's Hot 97, 753. That's seven minutes for the hour of eight. A.M. here on your H.O.T. 97, early in the morning. Sunny and windy today at 54, 43 degrees. Right now, this portion being brought to you by Chase Manhattan Bank. And we're talking to Stanley Green, as president of The Box Music Television. You control, sir. Good morning and welcome to The Morning Show. Good morning. Thanks Once for having again. me. All right. Good. It's good to have you here, man. Yeah, we're good. talking about The Box and, and, and where you guys going. Where do you see The Box going in the... In, the, in this next millennium, we almost to the year 2000. Where do you see the box going? Oh, that's a that's a great question. Because you know, the way I see it, the reason why I joined the box, I worked in cable. I was with uh, Bell Atlantic, uh, setting up for the interactive TV in the future. The box has always been there. The box has started out as an interactive music video channel, and this channel is well positioned to be the leader, not only in interactivity in the next millennium, but also in, in entertainment. Mm -hmm. uh, especially as it relates to music. Because, and one of the things that's going to springboard is something that we're working on now, and we're doing it in the Philly market. Uh, we're doing it in L.A. We want to get back on in New York to do it in New York, and that's breaking local acts like no uh, channel has done it in the past because we have the technology to be in the community, uh, getting videos from that particular community, and actually getting exposure to local community acts. So, we, you know, we see a future in our interactivity. We're going to continue to be the leader there, and we're going to be the leader in music in, in general, along with uh, our radio partner, Hot 97, because between the two of us, you know, we can make things happen uh, artistically and musically in this market. Is there a criteria for the videos that go on? Is there a certain standard and practice of what the box will play versus what the box won't play? Well, you know, just like any other channel. Any channel you you, you, uh, you you talk about, and you see channels now that are having labels uh, and, and standards, and, uh, you know, it, the community is very, very tough HBO or Cinemax and see things that you won't see during the day. Right. But the concern is that, you know, we do have to have a, a certain standards because, you know, there are young people out there, and, uh, and, and parents are concerned, society is concerned. So they, in turn, put the... Uh, you know, pressure on to ensure that the appropriate standards are set. So yeah, just like uh, MTV and BET uh, has standards, the box has standards as well. And certainly our you know, standards are higher than they were a few a few years ago, and that's the kind of thing that got us in trouble. But we are being a little bit more responsible now. Uh, but we're in line with the other music channels and other entertainment entities as well. Mm -hmm. Could you answer Ed's question about... I guess the controversy that was coming up about the, you know, you have to uh, phone in for your video, but there was some controversy about who was actually making those phone calls. That's right. That, that was a good question asked before the break. Um, in the past, you know, let's let's face it, you know, there were there were record companies that were out there calling the 900 numbers too, because you know, obviously, you know, record companies want to get those records distributed and they want the acts to be broken. Now, and that's and that's okay, but when it gets to be excessive. 
it becomes a problem because what we're here to do is serve the viewer. It's music, television, the viewer controls, uh, and no one else. So we've instituted uh, a, a policy and we've changed the software that uh, limits the amount of uh, time certain videos can play within a certain time frame so that you don't see the same video. Like six you know, times in a row. Yeah, six times in a row. That's just not good. Um, so that, that change has been made, and uh, as we move forward, you won't see that kind of thing happening. Do you see the box becoming more of a total interactive um, television station in the future? Not just videos, but like say we want to see anything from the box. Let's say the box had a whole menu of, uh, okay, we want to see a video here, and then after this video, we want to see this movie, and then maybe we missed this show of Martin that we liked a lot, so we know the box got it, so we know which show we want to see, so we could press up and pay for it, and then we could see whatever we want to see this way by... Uh, doing this, we'd be able to program, say, our whole day of what we want to see on television. That's right. You know, I, as I mentioned, I work for you know the, the telephone company that's going to be putting in fiber optic cables, uh, and cable companies are putting in fiber optic cables, and they're both going to be positioning to offer full interactivity. What we're doing is, and we talk about the next millennium, is we're going to position ourselves to be the brand name as far as teens and young adults are concerned, so that it won't be restricted to order that, you know, teenagers, young adults, they'll think about the box, and what they'll know is that they, the box produces programming that suits them. So it could be a video, it could be a movie, it could be a comedy sketch, it could be a number of things that, uh, that are interesting to, you know, our particular viewers. And so the, the key with any business is knowing who your audience is, and that's what we do. As a, as a person that's been in this business for a while, in cable and in, in telephone, is that the future? Totally interactive television? The future is totally interactive. You may have heard a couple of years, there was a lot of hype about it. Right. You know, multimedia, interactivity, information digital, superhighway. Digital theater, digital theater, right. uh, television, or D, what is it? Um, DDS? D, 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 DDS? Right, DDS. all of that. Television, is just, no, it's digital television, not... Oh, HD. Little, HD yeah. TV. High definition television. Right. It's no longer HD the little TV. it's more that crisper. Right. And you know, we're ahead of the curve, and that is where everything's going. We're already ahead of the curve because we just converted most of our boxes, and we'll have all of them done by the end of this month, to digital. So we're already digital, and we send the videos. We, first of all, convert them to computer language in, in Miami. Then we send them over the satellite into the individual boxes uh, in, in Philadelphia, L.A., and, and when we get back on here, here in New York. And then they're in, 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 in computer storage, and then they're waited, waiting to be called up by the, uh, the viewer. We used to have tapes and, uh, and, uh, and video discs, but now it's totally digital. So we're already ahead of the curve, and it will be interactivity uh, down the road. Wow. Well, good luck with everything, Stan. We thank you for coming in this morning and sharing that with us. And, and the box will be back on in New York real soon. Well, what we're going to need to do is we need to have everyone. Ed brought up a good idea. That's Drake. We, it, <laughs> I'm Ed. That's yeah, Drake. It's okay. Yeah, Drake brought up a good idea, and that was to make sure that when your bill comes in, the cable bill comes in, get a hold of it, take a slip of paper, and just write, I want the box. Ah. Put it in the cable bill, uh, send it back to the cable company, and they'll make sure they count all of those. Okay. So I'll do that because I, I need the box in Bergen County, New Jersey. Because yeah, I, I get BET. I get BET. Right. But sometimes BET will cut half the video and go to commercial. I love when they it ain't the first time I've ever seen about. the damn thing. And the next thing I know, here comes Kellogg's, right? Like, right. At, at the end. And so, you know, sometimes the best right. stuff in the video is at the end of the video. Yep. Right. You know, and the, you please, know MTV, MTV just is not catering to brothers and sisters at all. Right. I don't get to see my favorite artist on there. I got to see this guy with a big bone through his nose sit there and talk to this other ill-looking guy like he's strung out on heroin or something <laughs> on MTV. Yeah, so I, I really miss, I mean, that. really, I miss the box because with the box, at least I can sit up and say, man, I didn't see that. Right. Right, right. Pick up the phone. I pay my own phone bill, so you know I have to get my parents' permission, like you guys suggest. And I type in what I want to see, uh -huh. and then I sit there. And sooner or later, if I didn't type it in, somebody else out there didn't see what I didn't see, so they typed it in and they played the videos. But now we have no outlet in New York at all. Right. Video music box is gone. Right. I used to go hang out with my man David D all the time and abuse his television and his phone just for the box. Yeah, man. I, I, we I need the really box, like especially when your TV rack is gone. We gotta get it started now. Right now, call the 97 at 1 800 223 9797. Get four tickets to see 702 perform live at Hot 97 Night at Ringland Brothers and Barnum at Bailey's Greatest Show on Earth. And you get a pair of tickets to see the triple header PSAL High School Basketball Championship Games at Madison Square Garden on Saturday, March 15th. 
Call her 97 right now. 1-800-223-9797. 8 o'clock on the dot. Let's get a little weather from this. All right. Week. Sunny and windy today. High 54. Colder tonight. Down to 32. And then sunny and windy tomorrow. High 44. 43 degrees. Right now. I love it. Right now. It's time for us to check metro traffic in our area. New York, New Jersey, and Connecticut. Here's Easy Eric Graff. Well, I thank you. Yeah, man. It's 8 o'clock. in the morning, it's 8.28, 28 minutes after 8 o'clock, it's the morning show. Hello, not bad today, sunny, a little windy though, high 54, I'm feeling spring. No doubt about 43 it. 43 degrees right now, I'm seeing the crocuses blooming. That's right, we're taking your phone calls right now, if you'd like to Come have on. any comments about what happened to the notorious big feelings, you give us a call right here at 1-800-223-9797, we're going to talk to you about it, get it over there, and see how you feel about it. You, got you know what, you know what, real quick, what? 212 okay. 924 You can fax us over here also. So, you know, how do you feel? Just reach out to us. And we'll be here for I got a fax right here, Dre. It says, uh, Dear Hot 97 Morning Show family, I want to send my condolences to the Wallace family and Biggie's friends. I wasn't a fan of all his music, but I supported him. It's a shame that we have young black males dying of disease that we call violence and in ignorance. I want to ask the hip hop community who is next. It was Easy e in 1995. It was Tupac Stretch in 1996 and it's Biggie in 1997. I know that Easy E died from AIDS, but we need to grow up and own up to our responsibility to teach our black males and females that promiscuity and violence is not the answer. I shed a tear for all.